In this lesson, we're going to go over translating algebraic equations and inequalities. We've already talked about um, translating algebraic expressions, so now we're just going to turn them into equations. So the difference um, between an expression and an equation, and we've already discussed this in class, is that an expression, um, although it contains variables, coefficients, constants, it does not include an equal sign, which is what an equation um, has. Also, equations can be solved, so we'll have answers like x equals 3, y equals 1 half, um, but expressions cannot be solved, they can only be simplified. What is the difference between an equation and an inequality? An equation has an equal sign, while an inequality has an inequality sign, so something like less than, more than, um, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and once again, when we solve those, we are going to have an answer, but our answer is going to include more than one single number. Translate each sentence into an equation. 53 plus 4 times C is as much as 21. So let's talk about our keywords here. Right here is the word is, and that's going to be our clue for our equal sign. So 53 plus 4 times C is as much as 21. The sum addition of 5 times multiplication H and twice G is, which is our equal sign, equal to 23. So the sum of 5 times h, 5 times h, and twice g is equal to 23. One fourth the sum of r and 7 is identical to 4. One fourth times the sum of r and 7. So the sum of r and 7 but notice that it's one-fourth times the sum, so it's one-fourth times all of this, which means this needs to be in parentheses, is identical to four. Now all we're doing here is setting these up, we're not solving them. That'll be the next lesson. Three plus the sum of the squares w and x is 32, so three plus the sum of the squares w and x is 32. Now notice it says the sum of the squares w and x, so each of those are squares. It doesn't say the square of the sum. So if it said the square of the sum, then we would be looking at that versus this. The area A of a circle is pi times the radius r squared. So this is just the formula for area of a circle pi times r squared. Translate each equation into a verbal sentence, so now we're required to go backwards, and there are multiple answers for each of these. So if I say g plus 10 is equal to 3 times g. I could say twice p plus 4 times, why did I put 4? Twice p plus 4 times q is 20. And I could say the sum of twice p and 4q as well. Again, there's more than one way to say these. Here you got to be careful because it's four times this entire amount, a plus b. So it's going to be four times the sum of a and b is nine times a. Eight 
minus 6 times x is the same as is equal to um, so is the same as the sum of 4 and twice x. Again, you could say the difference between 8 and 6 times x. Um, 6 times x less than 8, so multiple ways to say this. Um, you could say, again, multiple ways, but we've got s squared minus n squared is equal to twice b. Again, if you were to write something slightly different as far as the wording and it still means the same thing, that's absolutely fine. Alright, go ahead and pause the video and see if you can uh, match the correct equation with its corresponding statement. Go ahead, pause it. Alright, I'm going to go through and I'm going to read these and I'm going to find the one that matches over here. So, 3 times a number is equal to 5. Well, if I look over here, the only one that contains a 3 is number 15. So, double check, 3 times a number is 5. Two-fifths of a number is the same as 7, so there's a two-fifths of a number is the same as 7, so 14 is B. Four times a number is identical to 5. Four times a number, make sure that you are choosing the one that's positive, not this one up here that's negative, so that's C. Negative four times a number is 5. There's my negative. Negative four times a number is the opposite of 5. So there's my opposite of 5 right there. And then 4 fifths of a number is equivalent to 5 right there. Here are some extra examples for you. Um, I'm going to pause my video and write out the answers. So if you want to practice those, um, you can do that. All right, so take a look at these answers and see how you did. I'm going to do the same thing here. So I would pause your video, try these, and then you can check your answers in just a minute. So check your answers and see how you did on these as well. You may need to pause it because I'm going to move on. All right, now we're going to look at some application problems. We're not only going to write an equation, but we're also going to solve them. Um, again, you could probably do several of these in your head, but we're going to go ahead and get into the habit of writing an equation. Eric had $197 in his savings account before he was paid his weekly salary. His current savings is $429. How much money does Eric earn each week? Well, he started with $197. He added some amount of money, we don't know what, and now he has $429. So once I solve for x, that's going to give me his weekly amount. So if I do 429 minus 197, I end up with $232. Jean has $17 in her piggy bank. How much money does she need to buy a game that costs $68? So again, she has $17. We don't know how much she, um, how much more she needs, but total she needs $68. So again, if I subtract $17 from both sides, X is going to give me $51. Again, you can use whatever variable you want. All right, talking about inequalities, again, we're looking at using an inequality symbol versus an equal sign. Make sure that you have these down. However you remember them is fine. Just make sure that you understand which one's less than, which one is more than. 
Um, all right, so x is less than 5. What does this mean and how do I represent this? Now, this is just an inequality. We haven't looked at um, solving them yet. But x is less than 5 means any value smaller than 5. And how do I represent this? Well, I would represent them on a number line. So I have all of the values that are less than 5. So again, here's 5. And remember my inequality was simply x is less than 5. It didn't say that it was equal to. So that's why I've put an open circle. If it was equal to 5, then I would fill that in. And now I'm going to the left of 5. So because those are values that are less than 5. So I'm going to go to the left of 5. And all of those values would be answers to my inequality. Because if I chose negative 20, negative 20 is less than 5. If I chose 0, 0 would work because 0 is less than 5 x is greater than or equal to negative 2. What does this mean? Well, it means any value that is greater than or equal to negative 2. So negative 1 is greater than negative 2. Negative, um, or excuse me, 0, 15, 87, 1,000, all of those would work. So how do I represent this? On a number line, I have um, negative 2 which would be probably right in there. And notice that my inequality this time has an equal to bar on it. So I've got values of x greater than or equal to negative 2. So this time when I do mine, I'm going to use a closed circle at negative 2. And I'm going to the right because I'm doing values that are greater than negative 2. All right, so now we're gonna write an inequality for each one. Four times a number is 20 more than the number. All right, sorry about that. Four times a number is more than 20 plus the number. So four times a number, again, you can use whatever variable you want, is more than greater than 20 plus the number. Five more than twice a number is less than one more than six times the number. So let's take it a piece at a time. Five more than twice a number. So five more than twice a number is less than one more than six times the number. Again, we're not solving. Last one, the cost of downloading a song is $1.29 for the first song and $0.80 cents for each additional song. How many songs can you download for under $10? So my initial is $1.29 plus $0.80 cents per song, and I want that to be less than $10. Note it doesn't say... Um, less, excuse me, it doesn't say equal to $10, it has to be under $10. So there is my inequality for that, and I could solve, um, which we'll talk about in the next one.